Before I begin this re-review, let me give a very special shout out to a very special friend. Her name is Lex, and she is the best friend I could ever ask for. Lex, this is for you. Two and a half years ago, I reviewed Quake. I considered it one of the most important games in history. Now, 25 years and one major update later, does this game still hold up? Let me remind everyone that I'm not re-reviewing the whole game. I'm just focusing on the new stuff. To answer the previous question, the answer is yes, but not without its flaws. First, the good. Multiplayer is now fully available and making a server is very easy. You can either do a deathmatch or co-op session for up to 8 players. While on topic of deathmatch, we can now add quick to a game where you can play with bots. However, despite all the features, it hasn't aged well. It may not seem apparent at first, but after a while, you'll see its flaws. Another issue is that this is all you get. I recall players making their own mods to add more multiplayer modes. Another new feature is crossplay, allowing you to play online with players who are on another platform. I do like the idea of inclusion of other platforms. But this could cause some unfair advantages. I've always had mixed feelings about crossplay, but I guess I'll have to live with it. Perhaps the biggest feature is two new single player episodes. And why did we need two more episodes? One reason could be to resolve any loose ends. Perhaps to set up the story for Quake 2? Eh. Who knows? Perhaps the biggest surprise was the inclusion of background music. I recall mentioning that not having music adds atmosphere to the game. The soundtrack itself isn't bad, but it takes away some of the atmosphere. For those who didn't own the original CD, there you go. You may have noticed that I didn't mention gameplay and graphic improvements because that would have been too obvious. Despite the flaws, this game is still awesome to this day. The update was nice, but the features went a little overboard. The updated Quake gets 4.5 stars out of 5.